Okay, hi. Someone asked me to do a tutorial on, also, it's dark outside. Um, but someone asked me to do a tutorial on For Memories by Wilbur Soot. And I promised that I'd do it um, last week, like at the end of last week. But I was really busy with homework because I am homeschooled. Oh, I know, I know, it's horrible. Um, but I am homeschooled, I do do homework at home and I am really far behind. Oh, hello? I'm really, I'm really far behind and also I have been really busy with work. So my bad, I'm sorry, but I am getting into it now. So hopefully that counts for something. But on to the tutorial. Let me actually, hold on. Cause I think, cause I don't, mm. okay. I was gonna say, cause I don't know. Wow, that's crazy. Um, cause I don't know the names of the chords. I honestly, I don't remember half the names of the chords for any song that I've played literally ever because I usually play with tabs or on the, th cause I like are, are on, whoa, are on the website. It gives like a little like picture cause I use ultimate guitar dot com slash t like tab or whatever to learn the songs. So anyways, so... Uh, so on the guitar, it's standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, and the capo is, damn, that's like really bright, it's kind of distracting, there we go, so the capo is on the fourth fret, I'm gonna turn the TV on, I'm sorry, I, I can't talk in silence, um, just ignore it, it's just Reddit videos, if you get distracted halfway through, just listen to it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, the TikTok algorithm, Oof, that was- Oh, ew, why did I say that? Oh, that's gross. Okay, moving on. It's standard tuning, and the capo is on the fourth fret. Sorry if you can't see. Should I, like, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So you can- Actually, you don't really need to see it all the way up there. But it's the fourth fret, okay? It's the fourth fret, so. Fourth fret, capo on fourth, and it's standard tuning. So- the chords are G6, A minor 7, and C major 7. See, I knew this was A minor. I knew it was A minor. So, honestly, the reason that I think tutorials, specifically for these kinds of songs, are better to look up tutorials for is because on... I mean, you'll see when you... Because I'll put it in the description. I'll put the video that I learned from, if this video doesn't help, and then also the tabs because... I know that I'm probably not going to make sense at all, but I'm going to try. Because I remember looking at these chords right now, it's so hard to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. And it looks so complicated and hard, but it's literally the easiest song that I know. Anyways, so it's G6, AM, or A minor 7. I'm going to just go by the thing, right? So G6, AM7, C major 7, right? And I'll play you a little demo of the beginning of the song, like just the beginning, cause I'm gonna go step by step. And I'm sorry, if this is a long video. I'll try to like make it short, but you know. Anyway, so. Right? So it's basically G6. Which the tabs, like, honestly, I'm just gonna, like, tell you where to go from this point because the tabs, like, you might, because honestly, because the tabs I'm gonna put in there, you they don't give, like, a little picture, so it's better, it, not better, it's easier, at least for my, for my personal experience, it's easier when people tell me, like, where to put my fingers instead of what the fucking chord is because what the hell am I supposed to do with that information? So, these three fingers, you take your pointer finger, you put it on the A string on the second fret, your middle finger, I'm not flipping you off, middle finger on the E string on the third fret, and then your ring finger on the B string on the third fret. So it's basically like a G shape, but you just move the ring finger forward. Or like, I remember I, I see some people play it like, like this is how they play their Gs, but that just looks disgusting and it feels like, like how pretentious do you have to be? Anyways, basically just, yeah. 
basically these two fingers oh i'm sorry these two fingers these two fingers on um, they're both on the third fret so e and b on the third fret and then your pointed finger on the second string we're gonna call them by their numbers okay so first second third fourth fifth sixth right so second string on the second fret right and then it's which is a and b both at the same time and then it's d g a b d g a b right no okay <laughs> and this the pattern is a and b or not a and b e and b d g a b d g so you let the e and b ring out and then D, G, A, B, D, G. And then we move on to the A minor 7, which is these two fingers. You put your middle finger on the third string on the second fret and your first finger, pointer finger, on the fifth string on the first fret, right? So, and then it's... So instead of it being E and A, or E and B, it's A and B let that ring out and then it's the same thing where it's d g a b d g and then we move on to the final chord i don't know why i acted like that wasn't an actual chord to the final chord uh c major seven which is just these two fingers <laughs> your ring finger goes on the second string on the third fret and then your middle finger goes on the third string on the second fret that made sense hopefully hopefully i said that right because now that i'm thinking about it i don't know if i did but anyways and it's just the same thing except for which is just it sounds complicated i know it sounds intimidating but it's really not so it's just i got a notification um it's just a and b and then it's D, G, A, B, hammer on the third string, G, A, B, hammer, D, or G, A, B, hammer, G, and then open string on D, so. I know it sounds hard, but just practice it. Go extra slow if it helps, like. sound like the song but if you just practice it more it'll start sounding more and more like the song so after that part it's i'm gonna so with those three chords i'm gonna call those like sections okay so first section of that is just the g6 a minor 7 c major 7 and then it's that again until you get back to this again so a full and then once you're back here it's just you let the A and B ring out and then you strum the A string, which is the second string. So it's this same thing and you just hold on the third fret on the second string. So like strum, 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 open. Right? Hopefully it made sense. Sorry if the cut looked weird, I'm, I messed up. So I'm gonna play it slower so that you can kind of pick it up, ready? Right? So that's the beginning of the song and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing the parts and I'm sorry but you're just gonna have to hang in, okay? Hang out, hang in. I find it easier to sing the lyrics, um, like, as you're playing the song, because I find it easier to, like, kind of place what part of the song you're supposed to be playing with, the, because you've, because if you've heard the song so many times with them singing the lyrics, it kind of sounds off when you're just playing the guitar, um, 
but of course it's just like my personal opinion so if you play it some other way or like it helps to play some other way then go for it i mean what the hell am i gonna do stop you anyways so also i also just listened to the song and oh my fucking god he strings it so much faster than i thought it was and just just try to build up slowly instead of just trying to go for it at once because um it'll be hard anyways so right so it's on here it kind of looks off but i'm just gonna say it how it is we all move on some faster than others we all know and then as you're doing the no you just play another right and then it carries on and then we all sacrifice and then blank and then basically most of the lyrics kind of start once you're in the A minor 7, right? So we all move on, some faster than others, and then we all- Okay, yeah, point is, I said it kind of cuts off there. And then I could be wrong actually, let me check two seconds. Ugh. Okay, so after the last part ends, where he goes, uh, where he goes, where he goes building up sorrow, then you just play this part two more times. And it brings back that um, A and B, and then A, 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 open, right? And then it moves on to the chorus where it's it's the same chord progression for most of it, or not chord, uh, finger picking for most of it, so. But I can't say that I wasted my time, cause I built by you. And I can't say that I glad it is over, cause I wouldn't be true. So and then as it goes on to the oh, so thank you, it changes the chords. So let me look at what they're called. Sorry, I was trying to make me sign up for something. Okay, so whatever the hell those are supposed to be are so freaking typical. I got G sus, G sus 4 slash F, F, C slash G, B, M. It looks difficult. I'm going to tell you how it is. Okay, basically you take these two fingers. Or these two whatever you're most comfortable with these two fingers you take your thumb you put it on the first string on the first fret this is both in the first fret so the first string on the first fret your pointer finger on the b string on the first fret right and then it's just the i'm not, i'm gonna repeat it for you but it's just the same finger picking but instead of like it going like e a a it just goes e all the way through so you're gonna understand what I'm saying in like 10 seconds. So it's again, thumb, first string, first fret, pointer finger, B on first fret. So A and B, D, G, A, B, D, G. And then it moves on to an F shape where it's literally just the F chord, but instead of it being fretted like all the way around, cause it's kind of hard to do that just these two fingers so it's it's really it's i mean honestly you can do it like this if you want but i find it easier to just you know clamp those on right so then it's just these two fingers again and then it's the ring finger you're adding these three fingers so ring finger and um, pinky finger they're right next to each other on the a and d so second and third string on the third fret Right? And then your your middle finger on the G on the G string G string 
on the second fret. And then it's the same thing, right? Where it's E and E and B, D G A B D G. And then it's the same thing, except you take this finger off and then you move these three fingers for, like up one string for all of them. So instead of it being um, three three two, it's three three two instead of so basically instead of it being A D G, it's E A D. So these two fingers, ring and pinky finger, first string, second string, so E and A on the third fret, and then your middle finger on the D string, the third string on the second fret, if that makes sense. And then it's the same thing. I'll repeat it one more time. E and A, or E and B, sorry. D, G, A, B, D, G. And then the last one's the easiest in my opinion, where it's just these two fingers and it's the ring finger on, yeah, the ring, the ring finger on the E string on the third fret and the middle finger on the A string on the second fret which is again, A and B, or E and B, D, G, A, B, D, G. And then it repeats. And then it's basically, so, so thank you. On the second section, you let the E and B strings ring out. And then it repeats with the first chord progression, which was G6, A minor 7, C major 7. So, But it's just the ending part, so... Right? So that's the end of that part. And then as it moves on to the next one and then it's the we both remember so we both remember that day in the summer when you were sat on me and we cried oh how we cried in that moment never been so happy which is basically just the same thing as the first part of the chorus, just repeat it again. And then, but the difference between the beginning part of the song and then this part of the song is that once it gets to the chorus, it, instead of it being finger picking, it turns into strumming, right? Super cool, super unique, super love it, right? So we've never been so happy. Ring, plug, 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 open. And then it just is the same, chords so g6 a minor 7 blah, 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 blah. and it's like but i can't say that i wasted my time because i'm built by you and i can't say that i i'm glad it is over because that because that I will cut it off there let's let's analyze that so the strumming should be down wait so down down up down up down so but then at, so basically as you're switching chords you strum up hello my brace of the cup so I also find that for most songs, if you want a tip, here's a tip. When you're switching, cause for most songs where it's strumming, I think I read somewhere, definitely read it somewhere, totally didn't like see it on a TikTok or something, but I read somewhere that it's easier when you're switching chords. 
like when you're switching because like especially if it's moving from like like say here and you're moving completely instead of just being like this it's easier to strum up as you're moving because it's not because you see how it's like but if you're doing kind of especially if you're just going like it's like up down right so down down up down up down up down down up down up down up down down whatever right but then as you're getting to the c major seven it's hopefully you caught that so it's like down down up down up 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 down up so right so then it repeats that part as it's getting to that part it's down up down up down up right so it's like whatever and then as it's moving on to the so thank you oh thank you right it's the same chords that like for the bridge i think it would be called where it's like so thank you It's basically just the same down up like down down up down up down like whatever right and then and then as you're going on to the third round of that it's it starts slowing down to like So just to be clear, there's not four of those, it's just like, so it's like, so thank you, oh thank you, all I can say is thank you. So, so I'll just pick this up, ready? So thank you. One, oh thank you. All I can say is thank you. That's two, this is the third one. So there is four, and then on the fourth one, it's strummed down. So it's the da, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, right? And then at the, for the ending part, I'll do a little demo. Dude, this album is so actually depressing. Like it, br it, 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 it pains me. Anyways, so after you're done doing the, then it's just this one more time. Albeit a little bit like slower, cause it's like the ending of the song. It's sad. It's a goodbye message. Um. Anyways, and then. So you do that whole thing silent. But I can't say that I won't miss you. And then you let the A and B string ring out, right? So that's it for the song, but let me just, let's real talk for a second. If th that's the end of the tutorial, if you don't want to hear me rant for like 10 more seconds, then yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to cry. But 
If this video didn't help, I will have the video that I learned from in the description because I know that sometimes I talk too fast or I don't explain things in like a way that makes sense. So if I, if this didn't help you at all, then I am at least going to give you something that helped me understand because at the very least, you just want to learn the song, right? Like that's all it really takes. Um, but it does, it is, it isn't like a difficult, difficult song, but it is kind of complicated and like scary to learn just because especially if i'm not saying i'm a pro at finger picking but i do most of the songs that i do play are finger picking style so i am more used to playing those kinds of songs um but especially when i first started learning finger picking it was really difficult to get my like my left hand because I'm, I'm right handed my left hand and my right hand to really like sync up in terms of like chords and finger picking so I get how difficult it is to like, if you're learning strictly from tabs, it is kind of difficult to figure out like how you're supposed to play it because um, commonly, sorry, I'm using really big words. Commonly for songs like on the tabs, they don't really give you like the chords. Like they, they give you like, like the names, like C major seven, G six, whatever, but it doesn't really give you like a picture of like, like, like two, three, like meaning like the two and three for your fingers, but then they also show the frets, right? So when I am having trouble like figuring out what the chords really are, either I look up tutorials or I look up what those chords are and then look at the pictures because it's Google, it's obviously gonna have a bunch of pictures. And I write it down, like I illustrate it on a piece of paper to like show me what I'm supposed to be doing. And especially because all they really give you are what frets those strings are supposed to be on. They don't give you what fingers you're supposed to use. It can kind of lead to you using, um, like, not the wrong fingers, but just, like, in a more difficult way than what really is intended, right? Um, that's, that, especially with, like, Wilbur's songs, he does have very complicated finger-picking songs because he is a very skilled guitarist. Ooh, that did not sound... That did not sound like the correct term, but he's a very skilled guitarist, guitar player, whatever. He's very skilled at playing the guitar. And so, especially when you're making your own songs, like that's really creative, but also it is more difficult to play. Especially with, since I saw Vienna, I find that it was really hard to figure out what the hell I was doing, especially with the hammer notes, because it's kind of hard to click in your brain, like when and where you're supposed to hammer point is though is that it's difficult but if you just because pr practice makes progress not perfection um but yeah i hope this helped and if it didn't then i'm sorry i'll leave the stuff that you'll need in the description below leave a like and comment and subscribe Ooh. okay bye